it's your girl Blake and I'm back with another video now I know you smashed that title so you know exactly what this video is about today's laundry day so I decided I'll do some laundry and talk to you guys uh, about the subject of this video so if you don't mind go ahead and smash that like button and I need you to comment and if you're not already a binge bay go ahead and subscribe hey binge bays love you guys so, let me get myself comfortable. I'm in my room. I like to, um, I like to fold the clothes in the bed. And then I call all the kids and tell them to come get their stuff when I'm done. I've been thinking about the title of this video for quite some time, actually. And I've discovered something about competition. Um, and what I believe competition is because of what it invokes and how it makes people feel. It's a very emotional thing. Um, but competition was created to make one team or one person or one group feel superior. This whole country is just, or maybe the whole world, is made up of competition. There's different classes, there's different, you know, it's I'm better than you and let's compete and there's sporting events and people are, you know, whether they win or lose, they're emotional about it. People are, you know, angry. to little Johnny's games the parents are acting like psychos in the in the bleachers because no one wants their child to feel inferior and no one wants to feel inferior so as I was thinking about like this whole competition thing I'm like I don't think it's a positive it doesn't invoke any positive uh emotions um only the winner feels positive and he only feels positive because he feels superior superiority is not a positive thing um it's just something made up to, uh, a scale for people to kind of okay if you can't do this or if you everybody isn't the same everybody you know some people ex far excel certain people in one thing and not the other um, so that's why I'm just not really into sports. I've never been into like groups or societies or, um, sororities, fraternities. And I, and I, I don't have anything, I don't have a negative emotion about it. I just know that it's clicky and I'm not really into clicky things. I, I'm an all inclusive, all you can eat. <laughs> all everybody is kumbaya kind of person I'm not oh them and that and those and I, I just don't I'm not into the whole us and them and I don't know it just doesn't feel right um and it's not I just don't feel like it's right so when I say I don't I don't have any competition I don't because I don't look at anyone as my competitor um I actually love to see everyone win because it makes me feel good because it's like oh, then I can definitely win you know what I'm saying like we can all do this like there's enough if people get their heads out of their asses and stop trying to compete so much then you can get so much more done because then you're not worried about anyone else um, and you're solely worried about or concerned let's not say worried because that's a negative emotion 
you're only concerned with yourself and when you're concerning yourself with yourself then you become a better you because you're only in competition with yourself you know if you do more or do if you do more than what you did yesterday you're a better person than you were yesterday do you understand so that's why I strongly feel like people need to stop with the competitiveness and you know it's really it's really a negative emotion whether you're on the winning side or on the losing side it's a negative emotion because you feel on the winning side that you're better than this person and this person feels like they're 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 not good enough and us as human beings are not here to compete with one another um we are each other's keepers um but we were taught not to be but we should be and and we are that is what we are naturally um each other's keepers but we we just have to realize that we need to even though you've been taught and you've seen one thing all of your life in order for you to grow you have to unlearn and relearn outside of the I told you so environment you know because I told you so I was just telling my parents about this uh, well actually my niece and I Taylor made recipes you guys have seen her in my videos we were talking about communicating with our children and how we love our parents dearly but what did they say when we asked a question well why is this because I said so and I, I made it a point never to tell my kids because I said so because simply by answering the question the conversation can be over and plus they're inquisitive they want to learn that's what kids do they're very they're very curious because they're you know they're learning so you're kind of stumping their growth when you do say because I said so uh, instead of you know if it's raining outside and you tell your kid go put your put your rain jacket on and put your rain jacket on they say why and you say because I said so versus go put your rain jacket on why oh it's raining outside you don't want to get wet crickets because they're they're <laughs> Their questions are all answered. I, it really doesn't take much just to answer a question. And it's not that you're you're answering to a kid. It, you, we really have to unlearn the way of thinking. You know, we all respect each other in each realm that we're in and in whatever path of life we're in at whatever age we are. We should respect each other. Um, so respect your children <laughs> and answer the questions they're just learning and they mean no harm um but yeah i kind of gotten off the beaten path there but to pretty much sum it up um i have no competition because there are no com there's no competition in my world um i am equally happy for everyone i want everyone to eat and you know, I am that which I am, and they are that which they are. Nothing anyone else does can affect my journey, and I need you guys to realize that. Nothing no one else does can affect your journey, so stay focused. Do you know what happens in traffic when people are rubbernecking? When they should be just keeping straight and going where they're supposed to be going. When people rubberneck, what happens? It creates traffic. And it slows the whole journey down because you're doing this and it has nothing to do with you I need you to stay focused stop looking at competitors do you compete against you be a better you every single day and you will be so at peace First of all, which is most important, because then you're not worried about anyone else or what anyone else has to say. All you are concerned with is your progression and your growth. Um, so first of all, you'll get the peace like none other. And then 
success because when you're at peace and you've kind of elevated your vibrations and everything is elevated then nothing it's like you're in a bubble nothing can affect you you're focused on your internal growth or your um, revenue or your philanthropy or your entrepreneurship or whatever it is that you're into but that's what you're focused on um, so yeah I just wanted to stop and talk to you guys for a second it's been a minute I'm gonna be more uh, consistent with my videos um, and giving you guys some good content so I hope you guys enjoyed and make sure you guys put a comment down below if you are a new subscriber I'm gonna do post notifications so please actually I have a post notification um, their expressions of perfection on Instagram and also D's nuts TZZ229 uh, on Instagram thank you for subscribing it was wonderful meeting you guys. I'm sure I will see you guys in the circuit, you know, because we are in the pop-up crew. Um, and thank you for your support as well. Thank you so much for tagging me in your, in your post, you guys. So thank you guys for coming, and make sure you come again. See you guys. Bye.